Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Rays back with another tutorial on Converge.js. And in this tutorial, we'll be talking about events. We'll, this is a brief introduction to events. I won't be talking about all the events, though. I'll be uh, covering how we'll basically start off an event and how to work around with that. All right. So the uh, way you work with events is almost the same for each and every event. So let's get started with that. Before that, I'll uh, go over a brief recap on what all we have done. So first of all, we have something called script where we attach the link to the Converge.js minified uh, code or you can even attach to other code if you would like to, which is the development code. Uh, and then you create a division element with an ID called bucket. In this bucket, you, uh, you draw the uh, you generate the shapes and the layers whichever you would like to uh, generate so the ID can be given any name of your choice but you need to remember that whatever ID you give over here needs to go in the container attribute of the stage or else your code won't work so after that uh, you jump around uh, jump into JavaScript and create a variable called stage create a new corner dot stage object and give these uh, attributes as follows you can give width of any choice and let me increase the width for this tutorial to 500 comma five and uh, give the height as 500 as well after which i created a layer uh, give it a variable called layer and then invoke a new layer just by uh, uh, hitting the command new convo dot layer with a, with a capital l so do not forget to give the capital l because I really uh, worried. I, I got worried about where I went wrong for about two three minutes, and I lost my time uh, searching for the solution. Whereas uh, the answer lied in giving the capital L over here. All right. So after that, you create shapes. After you create uh, layers, you go ahead and create a variable called circle, and give new convert dot circle and give x and y coordinates which are the center of the circle so you can change the x coordinate to any, anything of your choice let's say 150 comma 200 and so let's see what happens alright so as you can see it has moved uh, a bit down so that is because we have increased the y and x as well um, and then you can give radius or anything of your choice again so let me give 100 over here in this tutorial you can fill it with any color of your choice and stroke of your choice as well you can set the stroke width so let's uh, fix the stroke for this tutorial for 215 and let's see what happens okay so also we spoke about uh, I spoke about shadow offset as well where you can uh, give generate a shadow and then create an offset so if you give its value as 0 so we see that the shadow stays right exactly underneath so that is not what we would uh, like to have so let's give it about 30 and I'll give this uh, shadow offset Y as 40 alright so as you can see we have a good shadow over here and then you can blur the shadow as well with the shadow blur option you can go for a small s yeah so you can go for a small s <coughs> Similarly, you can give something called opacity. So opacity is 0.8 over here. You can work around with that of your choice. So for this tutorial, let's start off with uh, changing our colors. So I'll pick up a good color over here. Let's say this one. Okay, so I changed the fill of that with this color. Okay, as you can see, it has changed. So similarly, I can go, uh, go ahead and uh, change the color of this as well all right so as you can see our stroke has changed as well so we have a beautiful uh, uh, button over here and we can play around with that so let's get started on events and events I'll explain how to work around with that very easily so you have a lot of events. Events are nothing but the actions that you perform from the user side. So let us say we have this icon and uh, let us say I will click on the icon and I need a change to happen. So this is uh, generally used for several kinds of uh, events that you would like to generate uh, online. So let's say I click a button and then I would uh, like to view the color uh, as being changed. So what do I do after that? 
so the thing is that uh, you have to uh, get a different change or different color so you need to change the fill you need to change the stroke so how do you do that when clicking and how does it get back to default uh, all this is uh, taken care of by events so events work this way so uh, for starters there are many events like mouse over mouse wheel you have click you have mouse over out so mouse out I'm sorry so what uh, these signify uh, that when a mouse over happens it means that the mouse is on the element so that is what happens on this uh, mouse over uh, function so similarly you can work around with several uh, other events uh, which we will cover in the later videos but in this video I'll talk about two or three events and let's get started so to start off since we have a circle over here with the variable called circle we can directly go ahead and type this so I type on the dot circle and then followed by the uh, whatever event you would like to call so let's say mouse over so let's say uh, with mouse over some kind of change happens so now I generate a function so the second attribute would be a function so you can give it in this way or you can give it in another line but I've seen people do uh, in any way that they want to do it so you can generate the function over here so the function can be written down in uh, curly, uh, curly braces so how you do that is uh, you open the braces and then now you start off filling whatever you would like to fill so right now I'll go and say go ahead and say this dot fill what this means is that it is referring to the circle it is referring back to the circle so that is what the uh, meaning of this is it is used pretty much in all JavaScript applications so after that I'll set the, co uh, the color to black and then after this you have to close this down with layer.draw option which will enforce uh, our design to be drawn onto this so instead of comma you need to have a semicolon I'm sorry Alright, so let's see what happens. Alright, sorry guys, I made uh, I made a small mistake. It is circle dot on, not on dot circle. I was getting confused. So let's see what happens right now. Alright, so as you can see, when I have um, put a mouse over, the color has changed to black. So this is a simple uh, example that I was telling uh, you guys. So layer dot draw is very important over here. Without layer dot draw, this does not work. So let me show it so as you can see even if I click on this nothing is going to happen that is because layer.draw is not present layer.draw function enforces that whatever changes we have made ha are drawn when the event happens so this is a simple uh, this is a simple example of how things work uh, when you put in events so you can uh, put this function back over here and you can uh, easily edit as at will so this is how generally programmers do it but I've seen various other ways as well. So anyways it's up to you uh, how you will be able to understand the code, your own code you should be able to understand. Anyways uh, I also suggest that you put in comments as well wherever required so that you can refer back to your code and understand whatever you're trying to say. So for example I'll give a, a code, I'll give a comment over here saying that this is important. So I really recommend that you, you, you start using comments which is very uh, very uh, good practice. It will also help other uh, readers, other coders who will read your code uh, to understand what you are trying to say or trying to write. Although these are uh, pretty simple ones, I would really suggest that you go ahead and do that. Anyways, so you can change this fill with any other color of your choice. So let's say we, I pick this, pick this color up. And let's see what happens all right so as you can see the change is happening and but you see that after I've withdrawn the mouse uh, it is still it, it is still the same color the change is not happening so how do you deal with this so you deal with this with the another function called circle dot on and uh, in this you create another event which is called mouse out where you give another function and in this function you give back the same fill so i'll quickly do that over here so we go ahead and uh, type in this dot fill and in this i need to 
paste the same uh, code that I have pasted over here for the original fill. So let's say, okay. So let's see. Uh, draw layer dot draw is also important. So let's see if this works. Okay. So we can see that it is working pretty fine. So as you can, uh, I'm pretty sure you're not able to see my mouse pointer. That is due to the recording feature over here. So uh, as you can see, as I keep uh, hovering my mouse over this button, you see that a change is happening. So this is what is called event, and this event is happening uh, from the user side. So this increases our interaction with the program, and this is very, very, very important and very useful as well. The interaction component in a uh, in a day-to-day -day, uh, program increases the interest of the user because he's able to interact pretty more, pretty much more. So even though this is a very small example, we uh, we have to um, ensure that this is being practiced uh, in uh, large applications as well. So that is the reason I have uh, specifically made a video on this alone. Uh, you also have something called click and let's see what happens. So as, as you see, uh, you might not see my cursor, but when I hover on this object, nothing is happening. So that is because uh, uh, I have changed the mouse over to click. So that means that only when I click the change happens and the change will stay as long as I let the cursor stay in the zone. And as soon as I get out of the zone, it gets changed back to the original color. So don't you think it's an amazing feature? It is. So that is why it is there in this Kano JS, and I'm really glad that this uh, awesome framework has this uh, feature as well. Alright, so similarly you have several other functions like double click as well. So when you double click it, it will work and when you remove it, it will uh, go back to this original shape. Similarly, you can work around with various other options. So you can say this dot fill as well as this dot shadow offset. So let's see what happens when I set something called shadow offset x to any other value uh, other than the original one. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, the shadow is moving as well. But when I take it off, it is not going back. That is because I have not given the function over here. I need to give a new function. So new attribute I'm sorry so you have to give it back to 30 so let's see what happens so as you can see it is going back so you can work around with this guys and this is how you generally work with events so as you can see you have a pretty good feature over here so this is generally used for giving a dynamic feel that you know the button is coming up or certain things like that you can work with shadow offset Y you can set anything of your own choice you can even decrease the opacity so that it will give you something called a uh, transparent feel when you're mouse mousing over it. So let's say you give it an opacity of 0.2, but do not forget to give the opacity uh, attribute over here as well and set it back to 0.8 so that it will give the feel that you know you have come, you've just interacted with the button and did not change it completely. So as you can see you have transparency effect over here so that is how you can gen generally use uh, this Convo.js for various applications you can create games as well if you're, you're really proficient in JavaScript all right so this was my tutorial on events so work around with events and there are many more events that you can work with I'll put on a link of uh, a page where you can see other uh, mouse events and other stuff which you can fit in and you can experiment on and I highly recommend that you work on JS Fiddle get started off and start working and have practical experience alright guys thanks a lot for watching keep watching my videos subscribe to them like them share them tell your friends and also follow me on Twitter I'll leave the link down below alright thanks a lot for watching bye bye